All right, and let's go ahead and get started. Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shargon Mare, and welcome to the channel where today we're checking out some more of Small Lens Survive the Wild in its 1.0 access. In our last video, uh, which was the first video of the 1.0 series, essentially, uh, we went through the brand new tutorial the game provides for you and new players uh, who decide to embark on the journey of the, I'm going to call it the backyard. We don't exactly know what this area is. It seems like a forest or a park. Maybe it's a backyard. I don't know. Um, but we're uh, here in this forest and we are currently on a quest to find the clover key which is a key that'll open up a chest and it comes with the elixir that'll help the queen who is apparently sick somewhere with something very fatal uh so that being said we are jumping from point to point uh quest wise and uh making our way towards different destinations so <clears throat> in the last video we finally made it to caliph caliph was uh, over a stone quarry and it was there where we learned how to make a saw table um or stone cutter sorry stone cutter and uh, we also made uh, established a base up here. There's a great tree right here. We managed to climb all the way top of it and establish our first foundation. Uh, that being said, I then traveled south and found another great tree, which I then transferred all the stuff because all you have to do is just walk up this tree and find a little place and it'll transfer physically move your home to this place. So that's now where we are at. Uh, we then made our way to the southwest over here and found ourselves another NPC. I can't remember this NPC's name actually. Scotty and uh, Scotty actually has new armor we can make uh, via uh, chitin and insect fur and heptile leather and bones. We have two options right here one offers you more cold protection, while the other one uh, looks like it offers you uh, more resistances. But general protection is at the, amount, yeah, the same amount, and it looks like we have a storm getting ready to approach, which is pretty terrible. Last time we uh, hopefully will learn our lesson. Uh, we'll let the storm pass. We'll hide in this boot while I discuss basically what's going to happen. Uh, so a little bit about my character while we're looking at this. I have managed to spend a couple of attribute points. Uh, and that's not something I talked about uh, a, great, a great deal just yet. So uh, you can only level up these stats for however, uh, you know, what level your character is. So right now we're level 6. So I can only level up strength, uh, dexterity, constitution, endurance, and intelligence to level 6. Uh, each one affects different things. Stats, increases stamina, constitution, health, dexterity, speed, strength, uh, damage, and probably one of the most important stats, I would think, but I could be wrong. I think maybe people are saying it's not as helpful as it could be, but uh, stats affecting crafting can actually give you better bonuses on crafting gear. I think, honestly, I might choose to go with the intelligence, uh, intelligence uh, spec. I don't know if you can redo your stats, uh, so we're definitely gonna try that out uh, as well as uh, I went around and collected a whole bunch of stone So now we have stone leather. So now we've got this cool costume on and we need some more food I also made myself a crude hatchet which then allowed me to chop down some flowers and stuff in the backyard or the forest here uh, Getting more wood and fiber availability. Uh, let's see anything else I crafted. I crafted the stone hammer and the stone spear and it was very important that we tried to get the stone spear crafted if only because of the fact that the stone spear beside the bow is one of the few sources of um pierce that we have available to us right now and with a lot of the stuff that we're uh, in the area that we're going to being weak let's go where's that at But a lot of the stuff uh, that we're uh, in the uh, the shore, which is where we're going to, basically a beach, uh, being weak to pierce, it's very important that we get that, especially some of the enemies that drop the upgrades like chitin that we need for our armor. Uh, they're all weak to pierce. So um, it's very important to us that we get that uh, weapon availability. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're looking for the next uh, source of chaos around here and scouting is up uh, pointed us towards the beach this is something you know, i've done actually quite a number of times uh, down here across this beach we're going to find geckos uh, beetles and a rhino beetle uh, as well as other resources so we'll get heptile leather from geckos which we'll use for armor and stuff uh, there are sources for flint which we can get with our pickaxe and uh, i think there's something else we can get down here on the beach that's good for uh, upgrades for us so the storm is cleared, I can stop talking about that, and we can start making our way down to the beach. Now, I tend to make my way down to the beach pretty much the same exact way. 
Uh, there is sort of a ramp over here. Or not a ramp, but like a slow transition if you want to follow that route. You can. It's whatever. Um, I tend to go all the way over here on this cliff. And there's like a branch right here. And this seems to, seems to me, at least, to be much faster and avoid some of the enemies. Like there's some bees over there. And if you go further up that cliff, I think there might be a bull ant. And if you follow this just right, you avoid all those enemies, plus don't take any fall damage. Now going back up the cliff is a different story. I don't know if we can go back up that way. Uh, and we can run past those bees if you want. And one of the newer enemies we'll be facing on the bee, uh, beach is these uh, green beetles right here. They're weak to blunt damage. Good thing is that I have our um, a hammer, two-handed hammer. Uh, it's important to know that when you're using things like the spear and the two-handed hammer, you in fact do not have access to your normal block attack. So you can't parry these as well as you would like. But we can hit them with this hammer. And hopefully dodge them like that. Let's see if we can uh, do some more dodging. And if you time it just right, you won't take any damage. Which I obviously did not there. I can't remember specifically something what falls off of these. But uh, something good comes off the green beetles. We'll find out as soon as I kill one. Really? There he goes. Oh, this is a, just a huge source for chitin. Okay. So we got three chitin from that, whereas usually the beetles that are up farther up the hill, uh, they actually only drop like one, I think. So, especially when we need to create chitin armor, uh, we will be able to harvest that really well. And what I'm also going to do, by the way, because we're going to be spending a lot of time here on the beach, is I'm going to go ahead and go out of my way and equip our build hammer. And I'm going to make ourselves a... Oh no, what am I missing? Resin, okay. Uh, we might go out of our way for just for a second and go get some resin. Because uh, I like to make a workbench. Uh, if only because of the fact that uh, we'll need to repair our stuff every once in a while. And I would hate to have to travel all the way up to our base to do so. There's some resin right there. There's also a beetle right there. Are they going to pick a fight with us? They have, like, enormous... Uh, sensory um, conditions like they will sense you from a fairly large distance I think so I'm kind of surprised that it oh, there's a bee on the other side of there bees and beetles will follow you like a fair distance I am also surprised there's some more resin right there how much resin do we have that is we need one more resin can I... Oh, there's some right there. Hopefully we don't aggro that bee. I might just run down the hill and we'll lose it. Alright, there we go. So we have our resin. I'm going to get closer to the beach because we want to be closer to the beach. Because that's where a lot of our stuff is going to be handled. And, uh... We'll then, uh... Make a workbench so we can... Repair our stuff. So these, uh, these mauve flowers, by the way, are something you want to keep an eye out whenever you're the shore and when you're up uh, higher on the hill. These mauve plants are actually an incredible source of wood and fiber, especially wood. Uh, because as you'll find out soon enough, as you get further away from like the base destination, um, the wood uh, really doesn't come in uh, large amounts unless you chop down those flowers. So... I am going to come down here, I think, and let's go ahead and set up ourselves a workbench right here. I don't know why I keep on doing that. There we go. There we go. And if we have enough fiber, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself a wall. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Actually, we're going to break that. And I'm going to make myself a foundation. 
Do I have enough stuff? I should have enough stuff to do this. Alright, and then uh, I think we can build a wall here. I want to build a wall here, is what I'm really trying to say. There we go. And then I'm going to cover it up. Oh, we don't have enough fiber for that. We'll get some fiber here. But what I want to do is create a little canopy so that way when if it rains while we're down here, we don't really have anything to concern ourselves uh, with. And like I said before, as long as whatever you're using isn't heavily damaged, it's actually free to repair. That is a very big tip. Uh, let's see. This guy is uh, vulnerable to blunt damage. Again. We leveled up a bit. We also got something to make red turkey with. And over here we also have some cattails. And I wanted to say that cattails also drop something fairly useful for us. Or foxtails. They drop seeds and fiber. Oh, that's great, because uh, that way we can finish our canopy over on our nearby little workstation. I'm also going to create a bed there, uh, just so that in case we die, we're not super far away um, for our, our objective. So over there in the distance behind that green bug that's right there in front of us is the rhino beetle. You can't see it from here because it's still being blocked a little bit. We'll see that in a little bit. Uh, but that is going to be one of our main objectives. The other thing we're looking to do here is find a lot of flint because flint will be used to practically upgrade all of our weapons. Uh, like the spear and the bow and the sword. Uh, so you can move on from stone in the form of weapons. Uh, armor doesn't use flint, but probably the most important thing that you can get from flint at this point in the game is uh, if you were to create anything at all, it needs to be the shears, which is a pair of scissors. And uh, the reason for that is entirely because of the fact um, that uh, one of the next areas you go to is involving spiders. Uh, and the spiders, uh, you know, obviously they have webs. And the spider webs uh, can be cut with uh, the shears. And I am just absolutely destroying these dodges. And he still hit me for real? Oh. That's not good. Hopefully, this heal will help us. I don't want to die before we get to make our little bed. There we go. So I'll take this up there. And the like I said, the chitin's going to be really good. Uh, the only other thing that we'll need a great deal of is bug fur, which I think... I can't remember specifically where we are going to find bug fur, but it is uh, definitely nearby. Um, okay, so now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and make ourselves, uh, some more canopy. Like this. And I might even be in the neighborhood of making another foundation. Yeah, we have enough wood for that. We can probably find some more foxtails if we need to. Uh, but the reason why I'm making, uh, some more foundation is so we can have a little place for a bed as well as a campfire. Uh, so, interactive. Let's go ahead and put a bed down. And then we'll put a campfire down. Looks like we need two more wood. Oh, that's fine. Um, it looks like it's getting dark out. That's okay as well. Can I chop down anything up here? I don't believe these are choppable. No. Okay. 
So we're going to find wood. It's probably going to be back here against this wall. Up and near the grassier regions. We only need two, so hopefully we're not too far off for some wood. I think that's... Is that wood right there? Yes, it is. Okay, lucky for us. Not very far, and we managed to get extra wood. We can even fight this green bug here, because I would really like some of that chitin. There's two of them, actually. I need to work on them rolls. Maybe I should see how the heavy hammer hits. Not really heavy, is it? Our normal hits are doing 10. We can do 19 damage before we do... Unless that was like a low roll on the... Uh... The heavy hit we did. Alright, I'm actually going to go back the other direction and uh, rest in that bed and pass the night time. Luckily, we have gotten far away enough from the bees that we don't have to worry about them. And we have enough stuff to get ourselves some food made and then we'll head back down to the beach, the shore, and uh, start claiming lives. Alright, so we got our campfire. There we go. We can also look to make some stuff. Looks like we have beetle sausage we can make. Some jerky from some roach meat. Some more mushroom steaks. Mushroom steaks are always good. Uh, I was to say, it's white. Like, we can make it, but we don't have any stuff for grasshopper legs. Hey, I can make a pixie omelet. I don't remember pixie omelets. Can heal creatures. Oh, can heal creatures that are like the bugs and stuff, not me. Uh, so we're going to go in up here, and we're going to rest in the bed. And that should get us to daytime. It does fast forward, kind of like if you played in Shrouded recently. Whenever you lay down, time zooms by. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and eat a little bit. Honestly, I should probably have some healing. Uh, you know, actually, we have plenty of healing. It is raining outside, but it's not storming, so we are good. Why do we have... Okay, there it goes. I was going to say, why do we have uh, the campfire tool tip? But it's because I still have the thingy out. All right, get some more fiber and some seeds. Now, seeds are fairly important, and you do want to harvest all of this while you can, and the reason for that is because seeds are one of the key components for making hardwood or refined wood. I'm sorry, uh, because you need to refine the seeds into seed oil using the um, saw table so you can then uh, make refined wood, which is necessary for uh, a lot of the weapon upgrades and stuff at the early game. So we want to get these seeds all while we can. I don't think there's anything outright um, that this requires seeds uh, that are not um, converted into seed oil. So, I won't say yet specifically that you need to hold on to seeds in their pure form rather than refining them down to seed oil, but it's definitely a possibility. Um, since we save our game in the sense that we have a respawn point nearby, I might be tempted to fight the Rhino Beetle just because he is, in fact, our biggest competition here, and I want to say he's weak to the hammer. And here is some flint. I still haven't figured out the, uh, the, uh, why we're getting that bleed every time that we are doing stuff. Um, let's do balance. Let's see if we, uh, 
See, I don't know exactly what it would be that's causing that. So if you know what it is and you're watching this video and you know how to remove the bleed or what could be causing that, I I would be more than happy to. I, I need to, to look into what exactly is doing that. So there's a rhino beetle, friend. We do have to be careful around him because he does have a fairly large radius. So if you're not looking to fight him, please stay away from this area. Also, he's a rhino beetle, so he will charge at us. So you got to make sure that you keep on your rolls. Same lesson can be learned about uh, how you use to fight the green beetles. So we are doing some pretty good damage to him. Is it? Oh, it's pierce damage. He's weak too. We took that in. And it we did say Pierce, right? Oh, he's resistant to Pierce. So I guess it doesn't matter which weapon we use. I am going to go ahead and use a bandage while we can. Just to keep our health topped off. we are doing I think we're doing decent the only downside is I didn't come down here with a complete repaired hammer so I am concerned about our hammers durability but I think we're fine luckily those iframes aren't too hard to get when the roll I think we got lucky there on that uh, the roll as well. Oh, I did not get lucky on that one. He is charging like crazy. Seems like all he wants to do is roll. All he wants to do is all he wants to do is roll. Oh, we hit him for there for twelve. That's nice. Ow! Ow! If we take another one hit like that, we're not going to be in a good position. Oh, shit. We, we aren't in a good position. Alright, uh, that's that's okay. I think maybe there's a good chance his, uh, his uh, health will still be pretty terrible. Uh, I think we will need to repair our stone for it. Oh, no! We need to refine wood and two stone for that one. Luckily, though, we can repair everything else. Uh, shit. And I don't have any uh, tools to make a stone cutter uh, for the refined wood because that requires bottle caps, and the bottle caps are back up at my base up in the, the great tree. Uh, so hopefully we have enough hammer left in us to beat him back. Either that or we're going to be um, using a, a spear and or... Uh, bow and arrow and axe to take him down let's see are we lucky enough does he have all of his health oh we know he does not nice but why did that hurt us so much
I think we should be doing good. Alright, hopefully. Hopefully we won't get down anymore. Are you charging at me? What are you doing? You're dancing. is going to break soon. I'm going to actually swap to a spear. It's going to suck, but uh, it's better than we got. And we do have a little bit of range on this, and we're still still managing to do the amount of damage we need to do. As long as he doesn't charge, we should be good. This should be the last little bit. No, nope, just one more. There it goes, and the uh, Rhino Beetle is down. So, and we got the Rhino Split Horn down. I can't remember if we do that. I don't know if we just turn that in because it's the quest item. But, uh, yeah. Is it me, or did it seem like... We were actually getting more benefit out of the uh, the spear than the actual hammer that the... Well, I guess he wasn't weak to anything, right? He was just resistant to piercing. So, we're going to go run around, though. Because even though we've managed to uh, tackle the major challenge here, which was to kill the beetle, uh, what we really came down here is we need a source of heptile leather and flint which is what this beach has got plenty of it's also got a lot of people um, like water bugs which is great but uh i would ideally like to just be working on the flint if we see some geckos we will go after them Do be careful around water. That is one of the more dangerous concepts of this area. Is that you can in fact drown. If you start getting a little bit of screen shank when you're in the water, that's basically the game telling you that you're starting to tread into to bad territory for your character. And I do know that as we get to the other side of this rock. Is this flint right here? I can't tell. Nope, just uh, part of the rock there. Uh, as we get around to the other side of this boat, we're going to see a lot more geckos. I can't remember the week two though. Hopefully, uh, piercing. But I did notice that the as soon as we uh, harvested our first amount of flint, we got a thing saying that uh, we were good to start making sh the shears. It's weak to edge damage. Oh well, that's great. I mean, spears will work. But edge damage would be a sword, and luckily for us, one of the things that we got was a uh, thing for a sword. Ow. I'll be so much better when we actually get the, uh, we're gonna die here. Don't do it. Okay, so maybe Gecko is a little too much for us right now. Now, if we wanted to, we could probably go back up the hill. Oh. Let's spare what we can. How much uh, flint did I manage to pick up on me? That's not a lot of flint. It's not a lot of flint. The 13 flint, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with that. Uh, maybe it is a lot. I don't think it's a lot. Waterbug season. What is he weak against here? He's weak to blunt. Uh, okay, so not a perfect... I don't need to fight right now. I'm pretty sure we can just walk away from him. We'll be fine. He's not 
super fast. And we just unleashed him. There is another one right there. There are so many other things that we can build as well, uh, but they didn't showcase it because it probably needs more recipes other than the uh, the shear. We probably need refined wood and other things. He's coming for us, isn't he? Yeah. Luckily for us, these water bugs aren't a big deal. Alright, pick up some uh, stuff for some roach jerky. And let's see if we can find some flint without having to attract the geckos. It got really dark really fast right here. Why did it get so dark? It got like storm dark. I am trying to mine here. You are not what I'm mining. Oh, this is actually kind of funny. You mine, mining your business. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, I could have obviously just killed this thing. But that wouldn't have been funny. Or, that wouldn't have been any fun. I'm dying. But he did okay uh, we can heal ourselves up plus there's plenty of uh, things right here we could probably go ahead and heal ourselves as well and of course with all of these uh, cattails or foxtails right here we can uh, make ourselves some bandages. Honestly, I might die just so that I can get the fast, faster travel back up the hill. Uh, by the way, it should be pointed out that if you die in this game on the normal settings, you will drop your loot where you die. I have selected the option that allows me to keep my loot on death. Because honestly, I don't find that to be a fun part of survival crafting games and having to run back and get your loot or whatever. It doesn't necessarily bother me, but if it's not going to like detrimentally destroy the enjoyment of the game like the base game uh i will tend to just have it checked where i get to get my loot i don't like running back and then potentially dying and then potentially losing the ability to ever claim the loot i dropped again that's just not the kind of risk or reward gameplay i'm into if you're into that that's totally fair you are into what you were into and i will not uh shame you for that So what are we at flint-wise? 28. That's a little bit more respectable number than the 13th we had before. I might go over and get those flint released over there because I don't see any other geckos. And then we'll come back down here with a sword. And since they're good with uh, slashing damage, I'll feel a lot better because while dodging is a really cool mechanic, it seems that, like, it's not so much forgivable if you miss the dodge, you're still taking the damage, like the full blunt uh, amount of the damage. Oh, shit. Please don't. 
If we die here, we die here. I'm not actually be mad about it. It just gets me back up to the top. What about the hammer? I mean, we're good with dodging. I can do dodging if given the opportunity to learn it, but I prefer to parry and or just block it. Because blocking, you'll take damage, but you it's still reduced. You're, you're taking full damage from dodge. I forgot, you can tame these guys. I can't remember what you get the gecko treats from though. Okay, so we got bones for the cauldron. Now I can finish, get this, and a uh, blowgun. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Bone mace. Is the bone mace new? For some reason I don't remember the bone mace. I know that's uh, the bone and stuff like that. It's uh, a main component for like the tannery. Alright. I think we've gotten enough Flint. I don't think there's any other sources of flint right here. And I got almost no durability of my weapons. I'm just going to die right here. Ah, what a horrible attempt to swim. As far as I can tell, you're really not losing anything for dying. Like, uh, I don't think weapon durability or anything is that major of a factor here. I'm going to go ahead and make what we can. I don't know what else we have here. Uh, and I'm actually going to choose to go back uphill. We got a lot of fiber. That's nice for us. And uh, so we'll make our way back up the hill. Let's see if we can actually get up to that route. Because if I can get up to that route, I'll be in in a happy place because that lets us pass through directly into the camp the uh scotty's camp maybe we can maybe we can't scotty doesn't know oh showing my age all right, let's see. So not this one. So I guess I guess not this. What if I go up this rock? Oh wait. Is this a climbable rock? Ah, I hear them. They found me. Get away from me, bees! Hopefully, we won't be able to lose him when we run past this bull ant that's usually on the other side of the stone. Doesn't look like he saw us. He did not. Alright, I think we might be in the... Yeah, we're okay. We're in the camp. We're, we're in the clear. So we're back at Scotty's camp. Hey, Vanguard. Glad to see you're still in one piece. I brought you the rhino horn. You've done it. I recognize this horn. This beetle used to wander the swamps. I don't know how it found its way to the beach, though. It attacked me on sight. This is very unusual. I suggest you visit Lysandra. She might have some insight into this matter, as she is an expert on the creatures of the swamp. Oh, before you leave, please accept this recipe as my thanks. I have found the gecko treat to be very effective in calming down the geckos on the beach. Once tamed, they can be very loyal companions. Thank you. I shall seek Lysandra's knowledge. So that's really good. That's, uh, I'm planning on going to our base right now and collecting uh some stuff to make treats because having a gecko fight by side uh, beside you and i think you can also ride them 
would be pretty dope for transportation and fighting purposes. It also would probably make it easier to not die instantly to certain things. But from my understanding, one of the problems with uh, small lands is that the companions in, in of themselves aren't exactly fantastic. They're not known for their survivability. But I've heard they're oh, they're fighting. Don't 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 come at me. You guys you guys duke it out. No stop. Oh, we managed to make that jump. Suck it. Oh, shit. He's still following us. He said talk should get hit. Can't make it on top of this mushroom, though. Get away from me. You got played, fool. Alright, so we're making our way across this route on this great tree. And we're going to take our lift up to our relocated base. So uh, I've done a couple things in the base. Uh, it hasn't. It's not a fully established base. There's still plenty of walls missing. I don't even have a front door in the place, but we have several foundations uh, on the top of the tree, uh, such as the a bigger chest. It has about double uh, double the capacity of the regular standard chest, which is always nice. Uh, we have the salt uh, salt table and the workbench and a cook fire here, as well as our bed. I'm going to go ahead and rest. Watch the day go by. Like, literally, the only time, reason why I put these windows up was just so that we had a place to place foundation to go over our items so that we don't lose um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, durability whenever it rains outside. So I don't know why you can't, like, do this in batches. But we'll go ahead and do like 16. And then we can do things like make, see, for our axe, we need resin, a flint, spear, sword. Sword is our first thing we're going to be milk making. Uh, so we need four refined wood and eight resin. Now, resin is in one of these chests. Got two here, but I want to. Oh, wait, no, I put resin in the chest. So there's 48 there. So we have 48 resin. Let's go ahead and make our sword. We also have the flint pickaxe, so we need uh, five, um, five refined wood. And for this one, we need um, insect fur, haptile leather, and uh, kite. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself the axe, the spear, and the pickaxe and shears. So, in all total, let's see, looks like the major components that we're missing uh, five refined wood, 10, 14, 19 refined wood total. We're not going to have enough, obviously, to. Make all the refined wood. So what does that give us? Where's our... We have 17. Uh, so we need more... Wood. I think I might have some in one of these chests. There we go. I have anything in here? Oh, I have a refined wood in here. And more wood. And more fiber. Fantastic. We also have more uh, chitin. I'm actually going to put the chitin in there. The chitin's not really going to do anything for us for the time being because of the fact that uh, we don't have enough bug fur and uh, heptile stuff. So I'm going to make some more seed oils. And we only needed two more refined wood to make our flint axe, our spear, our pickaxe, and... Oh, we're actually missing three flint for the shears. I mean, we're going to the back down to the beach anyways. Uh, it wasn't the worst case scenario for that one. Anything else we learned at the workbench, by the way? The bone mace and the recurve bow, which needs silk thread. 
This one needs bark and heptile leather and the poison mace, which we don't have the fiber string yet, although... What does the tannery need? Flint, refined wood, apothecary table. We don't have the stuff for that. Uh, but the cauldron requires stone and refined wood. We can go and make the cauldron. I can do that. Um, Let's go ahead and do that, actually. So, cauldron requires stone, refined wood, and stone. We can do that. And we have stone over here. All right, and then we'll do that. And then we will also... Again, I know my place isn't perfect. Uh, this whole place is going to be redone. Uh, now we have several things we can make. Uh, we have the... Ooh, the gecko tree. I had completely forgotten about that, actually. Um, fade chowder. Uh, let's go ahead and make the gecko tree. So we need two A heads, two B heads, one petal, and seed wood. Pretty confident I have all those things. Here is our B heads. Bees? Um... I don't have any ant heads. I've killed so many ants. I've, sl I've sliced off so many ant heads for funsies. All right, so it looks like we're not getting a gecko ray yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put back anything that's not going to be extremely valuable to us right away. I might keep some fiber and wood with us um, just because we might need to Build something with fiber and wood. But I don't need all this fiber and wood. Gonna have to get some more fiber, uh, some refined wood and drop some of this stuff off in here. Uh, let's see. I think we're fine. Uh, well, yeah, we need to repair this hammer though. Um, I think it's refined wood is all we need for that. Resin, stone, refined wood. Man, I'm an idiot. There we go. Uh, soon I'll, sooner or later, I'll have better organizational skills. No, nothing matches in here. I will keep the rest of the stuff. All right, uh, we're getting hungry. I didn't even notice how hungry we were. All right, well, we are no longer hungry, uh, but let's take a look at our bags real quick, because there's a lot of stuff getting swapped out right here. Uh, we have the flint hatchet. I'm going to move that there. We have ourselves the flint pack axe. Uh, let's see. We have the sword. We have the flint spear. Oh, uh, let's see. Where's that hammer at we just had? I'll put that where the bow is at, and I'll put the bow, like, right here, and I'll put the mushrooms at the one right after that. Uh, that being said, we don't need any of these other things later. And I don't think there's a way to, like, delete items. Uh, I am going to keep the pickaxe on us, but there's literally no reason for me to be walking around, um, like a lobby with, uh, a stone spear anymore. You have a better hatchet now. Again, I am going to keep uh, two pickaxes because you can never have enough pickaxes. And uh, we're going to make our way back down to the beach so we can go hunting for some more flint as well as uh, some more geckos. Oh.
I'm so happy to have this. Oh. Oh. You know what? I'm an idiot. You can block with all the weapons. I'm an idiot. I... Wow, I have never given so much misinformation uh, in my life and felt so comfortable with it until just now. I remembered that I redid my bindings for my mouse, so my thumb button is actually my block, and my right click is the uh, is the heavy attack. So I, I could have been blocking this whole freaking time uh, because the, the standard block button, I believe, is like... I think it might be like f or some shit so ooh, my bad for uh, totally misinformation i want to say can, oh hello what is he weak against edge damage Oh god, I feel so much better when you remember that you can do things. My bad, dogs. My bad. Yep, we can totally... We can totally... <laughs> uh, we can totally block. Uh, so, uh, what is it? Piercing damage. Yeah, okay. Ow. Oh, so they got they got bug her galore, so it's definitely a reason to kill the bees. They can also heal us very effectively if we actually, you know. Don't get stabbed 20 times in the face while fighting them. Oh, there was another bee here somewhere that I killed. Ow. Oh, we killed the big one easily. They're putting our spear to work, but they're also giving us a hell of a amount of items to turn into uh, healing patches and stuff, which, honestly, I am going to go back up the tree for a second and make those healing patches, because I just realized I left with absolutely fucking nothing. I am making all sorts of bad calls, telling you people that you can't block with a uh, the sword and the or so the spear and the hammer. We just fuck this ant up. His whole day is gone, and his oh his head. Make it head, make it head. I mean, it's, it's funny when you yell, like, did, did I get head? Is that what I was asking? I don't want the ant's head. I mean, I want the ant's head. <laughs> I don't want head from the ant. There we go. All right, there's another ant around here somewhere. Hello, grasshopper. We could have that as a mount. I actually really like the grasshopper because uh, it will. There's a guy. Because uh, I, I, he will. Uh, he's a good mount because he can hop everywhere.
You suck. I was hoping we could see another ant somewhere, because I think we need two ants for the two ant heads for the gecko tree. There's one. We shall claim his head for ours. There we go. I want to say that's everything we need. I think that's everything we need. I said it. All right, let's make our way back up the tree root. Back up to our house. And now I feel even better about going to the shore because then we get to get ourselves a pet gecko. And I think we have a good amount of food on person so we can heal our gecko in between counters. Because if it can be cooked, I've been cooking it. I didn't even realize we're level 9 at this time. We can spend some of those points too. While we're waiting to go up to the top, uh, looks like we have ourselves 15 attribute points. Uh, I'll spend five there, five there, five there. Might as well. Oh, I never applied them last time either. I'm an idiot. So I didn't even have any crafting, did I? Mm. Crafting and strength is probably going to go next. Did I only get five health points from putting five points into heat, uh, health? Oh, it's a 1%. All right. Yeah, increase health by one. Wow. Okay. Let's see. So the cauldron is what we want. Uh, so for the gecko treat, we have everything. There we go. We have ourselves a gecko treat. Garlic pudding. Okay, and then uh, bandages. That's what we're looking to make. So we can make the healing patch. We have more than enough honey crumbles. Because I think these are, this is three health for 20 seconds or three health for 10 seconds. Yeah, so this is just the upgraded version of the thingy. Matter of fact, I have more honey in here. Is that all the honey? Thought maybe I had just a bit more. There we go. It's been honey galore around here. Alright, actually. I'll use that one to actually heal myself. Uh, and then repair. What is... Is that always been here in this room? Oh, you can upgrade your armor? Chitin silk thread. Chitin silk thread. Heptile other chitin. That's new. I mean, it may not be like new, new. Oh, you can actually dismantle stuff too. What? All right, so I'm learning some things on my own as well. All right, then. All right. And it looks like Primal... So why did Stone not get added? But Primal did. All right. I ain't going to fight about it. Uh, we do want to put some stuff back, though. I might need to make room for... Uh... I might need to make some another chest, actually, is what I'm thinking in my head. Uh, which I can do. What is uh what does a chest take to make? Garlic leaf. We got garlic leaf.
one of you, one patch. And uh, we said we we're going to keep one bundle of wood and fiber with us. And then, uh, we've got plenty of food here. I'm actually going to take that off of the menu bar since we're not building anything right away. We'll just have our four options of food there. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait. That's not what I meant to press. Uh, we repaired everything, I think. And now we can head on back down. And if we get to the base, uh, back to the shore or whatever, and we have ourselves um, nighttime fall upon us, essentially, I'll... Uh, I'll just sleep at the camp that I have there. Oh look, new more bee uh new bees came out to play. Hopefully they're not close enough to aggro me from this far away or Okay, so they flew all the way in that direction. I wanna at least end this video on getting a gecko mount and companion. Because I think that would be a pretty cool way to travel about the world or whatnot. Plus, I don't think other than the... Other than the grasshopper, I don't think I've ever had another companion. I know there is an option to have a ladybug as like a companion that follows you with a backpack. But I have yet to actively um, make the ladybug trick and treat and uh, get one of those. Uh, it used to be before. I don't know if this was grounded or not used to be before that if you had a ladybug companion, they were very fragile and could die, and then you just lose whatever inventory, or if that was grounded. The more I think about it, I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking grounded. Because in grounded, there was a cool trick where you could, like, have a backpack space from a companion like that. But then you could trap them in your base... And because they were in your base, they could never leave. But their backpack space was still part of your inventory. What is that shining right there? Oh, that's a black one. Alright, so we're back here. We can try to go back down to the base and see if we can find a gecko. And we did fall asleep because it was close enough to nighttime and we're going to pass the day here. Nice. Hello, water bug. It was hammer, right? I'm so glad you can block this effectively now instead of just rolling out of the way. Now, does blocking actually use durability? Let me check it out. I can't tell. I don't think it does. Especially our hammer. Use the campfire to make some more red jerky and some beetle sausage. And we'll be on our way. So we know there's at least some geckos. There's at least one on that rock and one over there. 
We might have to fight the screen beetle. Did he sense us? No, he didn't sense us. Okay, cool. He stopped walking. Let me see what these guys are weak to. Is it? It is blunt, I believe, right? Yeah. And he's not looking to fight us, though, because he crawled all the way up in the rock. I am good with that. And here is our first victim. Looks like he killed a water bug over here. Hello, my dude. Hey, we've tamed a gecko. Oh, but let's feed him. Let's feed him. Um. Oh, he's he's gaining health. Uh, let's uh. Can you eat that? Oh, he he will eat that. Come on, let's okay, let's go. Let's go uh let's go bash this uh where'd that water bug go? Get my six. Let's do this. Oh water bug, come out to play, yay. Oh he's doing damages. I don't even mind taking the aggro. <laughs> yes. And he can even sprint? That's so dope. I'm gonna name you Charles. Charles World. World Charles. No. Change that. It, it, Charles wasn't the right name for that gecko. It starts Hamion. Can you name them? Inspect. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna mess this up if I uh. I'm gonna open up a Google. Oh, I, I have it all spelled wrong. I got it. But did I? I could have just used my phone. Cause I closed the page after thinking about it. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the world, Artanian. Oh, he even gets attribute points of his own! Why did it not name him? No. Apply. There we go, D'Artagnan. Come on, D'Artagnan, my noble steed. Over to this flint over here that was literally within walking distance. Oh man, that's awesome. Uh, D'Artagnan and I, we're going to have a fun adventure, I think. Uh, but that being said, I think this is actually going to be a pretty good stopping point for D'Artagnan and myself. He and I are going to go farm enemies, blood, and, uh, and flint, and other stones, and uh, bones, and all that jazz. Oh no, D'Artagnan, no! Why? Okay, I can't hurt him. Back up, D'Artagnan. I gotta put some backup uh, sensors on you. Uh, that being said, if you like the content, you want to see more footage of uh, s uh, small lands, uh, survive the wilds, and more of adventures of D'Artagnan and myself, feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below. What do you think of the name? D'Artagnan, right? It's a good name. It's the best name you've heard for a, a gecko that uh, fights in combat with you. That being said, you guys take care, and you have a great weekend, and I will catch you all in the next video. Later.